The report also says, quote, Julie was not happy with the fact that Kelly was not very accepting of her transition. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to discuss something that's not being talked about in the media, and that is a young 16-year-old male to female trans girl who murdered her parents or her mom and her mom's boyfriend. Anyway, I find it shocking. But do I find it shocking? I can't even believe the media. I found one or maybe two clips in the whole internet about this on the news. So before I move forward, thanks so much for liking, subscribing, commenting, joining my member section, doing all these things. The channel's going nuts. You guys are awesome. I love you so much. Let's get into this. First, I'm going to, I, this is the clip, the, the best clip I think I found. So let's listen to this first. Now to our top story today, a teenager arrested for killing her own mother. Police also say the 16 year old shot and killed her mother's <laughs> boyfriend at the same time. It happened Saturday night at a home no. along Venture Road in Palm Bay. That's just north of Malabar Road. New Six's Laverne McGee has been following this story. She has the latest. Earlier today, we obtained the police report, which reveals very chilling details. Okay, so, wow, just wow. What, where's the media? Not one major, these are like local media stations covering it, and this was like two or three days ago by the time I'm doing this video. This is incredible to me that no one's talking about it and it's disgusting and it's wrong because we need to talk about these things. These young people are suffering. They are suffering and identifying as trans and then going nuts. I guarantee you this isn't the only one doing this. I was reading comments and people were saying, oh, this is just another person. This happened with another person. And I'm trying to locate that. So if you see any other of these things, please send them to me because I'm going to talk about this. I cannot stand that a young 16-year-old kid just blew her mom away and then blew her mom's boyfriend away and then stabbed the boyfriend because she didn't kill it's just that this whole murder it's crazy so let me move forward because i found this to be quite fascinating this is the actual police report the transgender male to female okay i know some of you are gonna be upset that i'm calling her a she but i am but it's actually a male who identifies as a female okay and i looked closely on the police report because i also wanted to see how they identified how the police identified this young person and they did put female on there but something i found and heard when i was watching this reporter report on this so listen to this on Venture Road in Palm Bay were victims of a horrible crime. 38-year-old Kelly McCollum and 22-year-old Mathero Snedgerock were found dead by police just after midnight on July 7th. They were responding to a 911 call about a break-in, but ended up arresting the woman's daughter. 16-year-old Julia Egler is accused of shooting and killing her mother and her mother's boyfriend before police say she placed a phony 911 call for help. News 6 is choosing to name the teen due to the nature of the crime and the charges he faces. I don't know if you all caught that, but I did, okay? And I put, I'll screen cap it, because you can see in the closed captions. The reporter said they're choosing to put her name because of the type of situation, the murder, the insane murder, and then called her he. <laughs> and I was like, what? I don't even know if this person even understood what they did because they, I don't know, but I, I caught it and I got it on the screen cap. So I'm going to put it right here for you to see. So I thought that was quite fascinating. So listen. Egler faces two counts of first degree murder, accused of using her mother's 38 special to commit the crime. The report says Egler claimed an intruder had broken into their home, but then ended up confessing she had committed the crime. The report also says, quote, Julie was not happy with the fact that Kelly was not very accepting of her transition. There it is, right there. She killed her mother. Okay, he killed his mother. Because should I really respect a mentally ill child? I don't know. I feel very conflicted on this, I'll be honest with you, as a transsexual. But Julia killed I feel so conflicted. I'm just going to say she because it's going to mix me up the whole thing. Okay. Julia killed her mother because she did not accept her transition. But as I'm reading more stuff, 
That, which I'll read to you here from, I think it's the Daily Mail, that's actually not true because some of the posts are showing the mom celebrating her as her daughter and being happy about it. So the fact that this young person is saying that she killed her mom because the fact that Kelly was not very accepting of her transition. And she also did not like that Kelly was dating Matthew, who was 22 years old. So she killed her mom because she wasn't accepting of her transition, which is insane. The whole thing is insane. And then she also killed the boyfriend because she didn't like that he was 22 years old. What is happening here? And she also did not like that Kelly was dating Matthew, who was 22 years old, end quote. People in the neighborhood are trying to deal with this tragedy. It's horrible. I mean, I, I don't know the details. Um, it's just it's just shocking to know that um, that kind of violence happens, with wow. especially with a young person yeah, um, in this neighborhood. Shocking. And I just hope that uh, everybody, you know, is okay. Laverne McGee getting results. Wow, you sick. guys. Wow. Why is nobody reporting this? Why? Why is nobody reporting on this? This is a transgender identified male to female, 16, clearly has mental health problems. I'm wondering, like, does this kid go to mental health care? Did they go to Planned Parenthood and get their their hormones or whatever? Like, it just seems so messy, the whole thing. And wow, this kid did, is diabolical. She was waiting for the mom and the boyfriend to come home when she slaughtered the mom, just blew her away, and then blew the blew the boyfriend away. Let me read this to you from the Daily Mail. I want to read this here. Hold on one second. So this is what I found in the Daily Mail, and I'll put some uh, uh, screen caps up. It says, Kelly McKellen, 41, and Matthew, 22, were found dead in the Palm Bay, Florida home on July 6th. Okay, so Julia eventually told detectives she murdered them because she didn't like that her mother was dating a much younger man and was not very accepting of her gender transition. And as I scroll down, I see a photo of her and her mom looking super happy. And then I scroll down and I see Julia as a boy before, and it looks like they got that from the Facebook page. And then I keep scrolling down and it says that Authority says she explained she explained that she stole her mother's gun and wanted uh, and waited in the kitchen with it and a knife hidden in her pocket for them to arrive home. That in itself is insane. She was waiting for them to come home to murder them. Where is the media on this? This is actually insane. I don't even want to read it, I'll be honest, because it's actually really sick. She shoots the guy and then I guess doesn't kill him all the way. And then he, supposedly he begs to, for her to kill him. So she stabs him and then she shoots him again in the head. This is a 16-year-old. I, I can't. I'm, I'm so sad. This whole thing is so sad. Julia eventually broke down under interrogation and confessed to the murder to detectives, the affidavit said. Palm Bay Police Lieutenant um, Virginia Kelmer said mother and daughter had many disagreements in the previous weeks. Elgar cited long-standing conflicts with her mother, including disagreements related to her gender transition, as well as disapproval of her mother's relationship with her boyfriend. Julia transitioned from male to female many years earlier as a young child appearing as a girl on McCollum's social media pages from at least 2015. Her posts appeared to be very supportive of her daughter's gender identity, always calling her my daughter and sharing sweet photos of them together. That's the part that I'm confused because this girl is admitting to, this trans girl is admitting to killing her mom because she didn't accept her transition. But it's, it's on the other flip side, it doesn't look that way. It looks like the mother was very accepting of her gender transition. So is this, I don't trust this 16 year old. She, she just murdered her mother and her mother's boyfriend. So would you trust a 16 year old? No, I don't. I think there's a lot going on there. So with this, everybody, I am really disappointed in the media. I'm disappointed in them anyway. I'm disappointed in the trans community. Crickets, crickets, crickets. Nobody's even 
talked about this. Very few people. I think a couple of people on Twitter, that's what caught my eye. And I just am appalled that our community continues to try to hide bad people. The last video I did on Eli, the one before that on Rose, the stuff that's going on with these trans guys, and they're all trying to push this all under the rug. Do you not think this is going to bubble up and eventually come at us? I'm not going to be a part of that. We need to expose this. This is not okay. If you know of any other incidents like this that are happening that the media is not reporting, I would highly appreciate you sending it to me. You all know how to get a hold of me. It's not that difficult uh, because I will report on it. And hopefully somebody will see this and somebody will take this to the next level. I'm just a little YouTuber person. This needs to be on all the major networks and we need to talk about this and we need to see what's going on with these trans kids. They are not healthy. And this is not healthy. And this is not okay. I very much appreciate you watching. I very much appreciate you seeing what I'm trying to do here. And I hope you all have a beautiful rest of your day. And I'm sending you all some love.